We're easing into it with a, a fairly mild storm for the middle of November, but still some big changes from the last couple days. So heading out to be prepared for wet roads. Uh, things seem to be moving along on the Belt Route, but uh, still pretty soggy out there with some ponding water after some heavy rain overnight, some of which is still coming down. But even so, our temperature is 52 in Salt Lake, warmer than yesterday at this time. It's a mild 47 in Logan, feeling a lot better when you head out the door compared to 24 hours ago. In fact, most valleys, at least at this point, are in the 40s and 50s, part because we've got a southwesterly flow. Some of the showers came in from that direction last night. They're letting up a little bit in western Utah. They're making their way northeast. We still have them coming down through the central part of the state and in eastern Utah, some of those along I-70 heading off into Colorado. But the heavier precipitation as this system moves through is over the north. Some of that heavy rain near the Idaho border, including Cache Valley, uh, but the bulk of what we're getting stretching from uh, Twilla Valley over toward the Wasatch Front, Davis County down into northern Utah County. Some heavy valley rain, but the blue indicating the snow which should be above 8,000 feet today. Again, the storm is centered, or at least the main part of it, off the coast. It's a piece of that that's broken off, caught up within that southwesterly flow that's making its way pretty quickly north across the state. So with that being the case, even though temperatures drop today, they're still going to be running a little bit below average for this time of year. Even by late morning, it looks like a lot of the showers are going to be letting up, especially in the south. They'll be more spotty in the north, and they'll continue to taper off in the afternoon, even though they're still possible, especially along and over the higher terrain. But by the evening commute, uh, things should be looking uh, pretty good. Now, in terms of snow, we'll get some heavy showers this morning, but most of that will be above 8,000 feet. There could be four to eight inches piling up in the northern mountains. Now, our temperature in Salt Lake will only climb to 55, almost 15 degrees cooler than it was yesterday, but as I mentioned, still above normal for this time of year. Mid 40s in Park City, mid 60s in St. George. High pressure builds tomorrow. We get a break from the storms, but another system moves in on Saturday. Valley rain, mountain snow with cooler temperatures. You drop into the low to mid 60s in St. George by then. And in Salt Lake City, it'll be beautiful tomorrow after a chilly start. Sunny with a high of 58. Uh, we'll drop into the low to mid 50s over the weekend uh, with more valley rain chance of heavier mountain snow drying out early next week but behind the storm a lot colder with morning temperatures by then dropping all the way down below freezing so